implications. In this module, we will talk about an other implication of different points of view regarding the relationship between language and gender. This time, we are going to talk about sex stereotypes. Stereotypes, again, stereotyping means labeling and labeling is work of language. Again, we use language to label people in a particular way in our mind. In narrow picture of anything that we have in mind, our impression of something that we have in mind and that we are not willing to change, that is called stereotype. So similarly, we have sex stereotypes, uh, typical views about men and women. So men and women, when they work in non-traditional roles, for example, a woman is driving, uh, uh, whereas we think that uh, only men can be drivers. And a man is working as cook. And uh, usually we think men don't work as cook. So in such cases, our sex stereotypes, they create problems for us. So this is another, uh, you can say, hindrance that should be overcome. And this is the uh, implication of the point of view that is held by uh, Petri Arts. More examples uh, of this uh, implication. Women divers. See, women are athletes, sports women. Uh, they are uh, performing on stage. Uh, they take part in theatrical performances. They are not tolerated in some cultures because of this stereotypical point of view. People condemn them. People discourage them. Sometimes even their families interrupt them. They don't uh, allow them to join these non-traditional professions. But role expectations, gradually, you know, they, uh, they change. They pass through a process of continuous change because of illumination through education uh, and through our uh, acceptance of social realities, gradually our stereotypes become weaker and weaker and sometimes new points of view dominate them. So if this happens to the media, this happens to education, this can be possible through curriculum. We include such topics in curriculum that tell our children that these things have no reality. They are made real by certain traditions or conventions, which are no more relevant in today's world. Developing societies, again continuing the same point, that uh, uh, these stereotypes are not easy to replace, easy to change. In Western societies, uh, these people in the past, not now, they were critical of change in sex-specific jobs. For example, this is evident from the titles of their jobs. They think that only nurses, only women can become nurses, only women can become gynecologists, and to maintain their stereotypical point of view regarding these professions, they retain the label with with male, for example, male nurse, male cook, male gynecologist. So it shows that they are not ready to do away with their stereotypes. But Islam, on the other side, on the other hand, if we compare Islamic point of view with Western society, so we see Islam does not make any such discrimination. Islam, in Islamic history, we see Sayyida Khadija and Sayyida Sauda radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. They were wives of our Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and both were tradeswomen. They were traders. And uh, even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did trade with them. So, in Islamic world, 
there is no division, no stereotype about traditional or non-traditional roles as they exist even in today's Western world and in some Muslim countries as well. So this implication that relates with our stereotypical points of view is very important to understand the relationship between language and gender differences created by language.